Hi guys, today we are going to be taking a look at the Hello Kitty collection from ColourPop. I know, we're all shocked, ColourPop, I think I have a problem. Um, I've been looking at other stuff too, honestly. There's some beautiful palettes out there. I just, A, am poor as shit. Um, B, I, I just think they have great products and I will probably support them like forever and ever unless they do something totally just awful okay i didn't get the whole collection i got like it was like a bundle with the eyeshadow and the three lip glosses oh also i just really love hello kitty so there's that i wanted the blushes but they sold out damn it um yeah, so I have the three Lux Gloss. Okay, so I have the Lux Gloss Trio in Icicle Pop, So Chilly, and Big Bow. And first of all, may I just say how adorable this packaging is. I've always just loved Hello Kitty. Um, since I was a kid, we used to have this store in the mall called Sassy's. This was like, this was ages ago. This was like in the 90s. Um... And maybe early 2000s. I was I was a very small child. But I always loved going in there. It was like basically like a Sanrio store. And I just loved all of it. Oh, that's cute. Happy howl it days yeah, It's two little wolves. Aw. Babes. Okay. And of course, here's me. Like, I'm like hoarding bubble wrap. Because I am probably moving next year and i'm just like i'm gonna need to protect all my things um so i'm saving like all the bubble wrap i should probably save some of these color pop boxes one of these days too because like wh what am i gonna pack my makeup in um priorities you know and this thing is like itchy as hell but like i need it also not really sure what happened there, but here we are. Anyway, uh, so the palette. It's just Hello Kitty and Friends pressed powder palette. This is so cute. So cute. And they're like in their little snow globe. I kind of hope that, kind of, no, I really hope that the inside, like the packaging on the actual thing is the same because I kind of don't really want to keep this box usually I'm the person like I'll keep the box and I'll mean to put everything back in its box but like who has room or patience to do that every time they use a palette honestly okay good it is still on there and the little snowflakes are holographic and they're just yes okay living adorable and the shades are on the back too Oh, it says snow much fun. Pressed powder palette. Okay. Fuzzy mittens, cuddle leather. Okay, slay all day. Dead. She's adorable. Okay, so we've got... It looks like six shimmers and three mattes. Jesus Christ, with one hand it's like... Okay. Fuzzy Mittens, Cuddle Weather is this nice lavender, Winterful, Ice Skate is this orange, Burr Baby is this like baby pink, Snow Glove is like that little rose matte color, <sighs> On Chill. Snow here and igloo blues. Okay, so I actually think these colors look really like they go very well together. Um and even though they're kind of muted tones and like, oh, it's like all kind of warm pastels and stuff, like it's not it's not like dull. 
I think there's stuff going on here. This is definitely more of like a supplemental palette. Like you can't, you know, you don't, you have like some base colors, you know, like two of those mattes, the light pink and the um, snow gloves, like as kind of more your neutral shades that tie stuff in together, but they're not like this doesn't, I feel like a lot of palettes have like, okay, they like, half of them have the same like medium, like warm toned brown, like everything, everything starts to look the same. And I do think that a lot of times like you need some of those shades. Uh, to tie a look together, but I also feel like sometimes it's just like, okay, enough already. I have like 50 of this color, so I think that's really nice. And normally I'd swatch these, but it's like, eh. So, we're just gonna jump in. I already have my eyes primed. I'm just like moving this back and forth because honestly I can't do shit with this. Okay. So I feel weird without anything here though. Uh maybe I'll take I think I'm gonna take my boyfriend's purse. Just that light little goldish and kinda put a little bit of highlight because that's gonna bother the shit out of me. And honestly, ah, fuzzy mittens is a little just a little too too gold for that particular use oh my god i just have to use my right hand this is gonna suck guys i'm sorry other way This is the point we've gotten to. So if this looks like absolute trash in the end, just know this isn't my usual. But I mean, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know this isn't my usual with a freaking hook. Okay. Okay, that's a little better. <sighs> I kind of want to use something with like these three. I think we're going to go with that kind of look. So we shall see friends, we shall see. Okay, so first I'm going to go into Burr Baby, which is that baby pink. And I'm going to kind of go in with that as like my transition shade. Honestly, I might use some of these other colors. It's not just going to be these three colors because, like, that's the thing, too. I feel like you can use, do a look with just three colors. I've just gotten to the point where I've been trying to use, like, everything under the sun in my, in my palettes, trying to really get my use out of them. And it's just gotten to the point where, like, half the time I feel like that's not enough and I need more blending and I need more color or more gradation or more this, that, the other thing.
So maybe that should be a way that I challenge myself next. I'll try to, like, get back to the basics, you know? I literally, I feel like... definitely buildable but it's a very very light shade it's kind of hard to tell but also i have like eh, lighting so could be that too <sighs> um this thing is itchy as heck i need a better this one's not even for your left hand. This is awful. This is for your right. And my grandma told me last night, like, oh, by the way, I have one. And I was like, for which hand? And she was like, the left. And I'm sitting here like an idiot. Okay. Anyway. I think we're going to go into... Let me let me see what these look like. So on chill. Okay, so like it's kind of a matte, but like has a look. No, it's not even really a matte. It almost looks like a matte with like a little bit of shimmer in it. Like the whole thing isn't a shimmer or a glitter or whatever. Oh, I guess you would call this a shimmer and those glitters. But yeah, oh my god. Wait, let me get this shit in the light because, like, hi. No, not me. Not me. Hide me. Anyway. Um, you can kind of see the flecks of gold. Sorry, it's, like, focusing on the wrong thing. I don't know. There you go. No, it just literally focuses on the stuff behind it. Okay, cool. Anyway. So that one I think is really pretty. Or Snow Girl. Or maybe I will use both. Fuck it. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna first take on chill, which is like... Kind of like a light brown gold thing. Also, I have to remember, I can't even use this hand. It's just habit. Like, what is this? Trash. <laughs> Ooh, nice and pigmented. There's a bit of kickback, so when you dip into that, like, just be really careful, because it definitely has kickback. It's a very soft formula. But yeah, wow, I'm liking that one, though. Hi. And I feel like that is nice for the inner part of the crease. Okay, and now we're going to go into snow gloves. And take that, like, kind of from the middle out. 
we're also going to bring that down onto the lid a little bit. Right, just like okay and now we're gonna go into snowware that's what it's called snowware not snow here i was like huh eh? i'm an idiot please excuse me um <laughs> i'm like now that i'm looking at it snowware that makes more sense This actually makes sense also, like, this color palette. I feel like not only is it very girly, but, like, a lot of the, like, specifically Snowware just made me think of it. But, like, this is very, like, late 80s, early 90s kind of color, you know? This is, like, the Astrodome jumpsuit color. <laughs> if you If you look at it, like... And it's sparkly, like the Astrodome Dome suit, which, like, if you know, you know. Um, which is not Hello Kitty, but it is that time period. Um... So I'm kind of living for that color, but I wish it was, like, as... I don't know if it's just because it's so blendable that it's, like, bl like the color's disappearing? Or, like, what the deal is with that? Am I crazy? Is, it, is this, like, working? Um... Well, I didn't do that eye yet. I don't, I don't know why I was looking there. Okay. It is a beautiful color, though. Like, I'm not even mad. I mean, obviously, I'm using it on my eyes, so... Also, it's nice that I'm getting a change. I feel like when I first dyed the underneath of my hair this green, I felt like I had to do, like, green eye looks all the time to match my green hair. But, like, it's not always gonna match my green hair, you know? Like, my outfits aren't always gonna match my green hair. Oh, now that side is more pigmented shoes.
This actually kind of vaguely reminds me of a two pa uh, two faced palette that I had. Um, not with the oranges though, just like the the pink and this like kind of berry color. This like fuchsia ish whatever you would call it. Um, and now this one is. Gosh darn it. Um. Normally I wouldn't talk like this. I feel like, or speak like this, I should say. Um, maybe it's just the subject matter. I feel weird having the mouth of a sailor when I'm talking about Hello, uh, Hello Kitty. <laughs> Uh, ooh, and honestly, living for this with the brown eyes. So, like, okay. Now that we've done all that, I'm going to go in. Ooh, I feel like that could have looked really nice as a halo, but I am not going into that now. Um, yeah, I'm going to do a cut crease. Oh, yes, I also have to switch this out because I'm pretty sure it's green on there. Like I said, lots of green looks recently. Okay. Now I'm going to get my little one of my many tart dual ended brushes. I'm so mad because I lost the eyeshadow brush and I think it was like one of my family members, I can't remember if it was my mom or my dad, one of them was like wanted to go to the doctor or something and they were like get ready and I remember I like took my eyeshadow with me like an idiot like literally to go to the ER like again an idiot and I lost my eyeshadow brush and I was devastated. And the only way to get that one is to buy the whole set over again. But like, they're not cheap. So I was like, eh. And thankfully, like, you know who else makes these great double-ended brushes? Anastasia. And so, actually this one's Urban. My other one is Anastasia. But like, other people do make the double-ended brushes. And thank God, because I actually really like them. Anyway, rant over. So I got this guy, and like, okay, so the shade is called Fair from my Anastasia Cream Contour. It's this light one that's been like dug up a bunch. And just pray with me that my right hand isn't as useless as I usually know it to be. Hey, I feel like that's good. That could have gone much worse, guys. That could have gone much, much worse. Okay, those are actually pretty even. I'm happy with it. And they don't look like total trash. So. I don't know. It's just... Did that one go out further? You know. Barely. Barely. It's not that big a deal. It's not. Okay. Um. 
so that guy's done. Uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna do like a full, full face today. So we might actually need this. Eh, whatever. I'll leave it closed for now. Right. So I'm gonna go in now with Cuddle Weather, which is that beautiful lilac. And I think I'm gonna wet the brush first. So bear with me. Oh, that would be perfect. Okay. Sorry, just had to grab some stuff. Ooh, no. I am just over it, guys. I'm real, I'm really over it. Okay. Um again, habit. I, I hate it. Or I was gonna do this. Taking my e.l.f. makeup mist set and just Okay. And we're gonna go into Cuddle Weather. Just that beautiful lilac shimmer. Okay. wondering if this might look better with the f like using my finger sometimes it just works that way we're like or if it would have looked better like dry because like maybe it's not picking up on the br I don't know I don't know folks actually now I'm starting to get some of that glitter and some of that shine it is there Just kind of have to build on it, which again might just be because now the pan is wet and everything is sticking into itself. I don't know. I'm wondering if I should try it with my finger on the other side. But then it won't look the same. That sun is like right in my face. Like right on my eye. Woo. Not a fun time. Yeah, this is like one I feel like you really have to build up. But again, I might have just like gotten the brush like almost too wet to the point where it just like everything in the pen is now just stuck there. I don't know. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to try my finger. Ooh, that's like a nice formula. Hold up. Oh, see, I just feel like that's, like, light years better. I don't know why, but, like, half the time with, like, metallics or glitters or any of that, when you... It's more like foiled. 
when you use your finger. Like the freaking Yeah, because it was kind of like, oh, we have a little bit of lavender sparkle here, and now it's like, this? Like, that's not white. That's like, pure, just metallic, lavender, glitter, magic. <sighs> um, so yeah, but I am going to take the brush again and go a little bit back into Snow Glove. And just kind of use that to blend the edges out a little bit. Okay, guys, like, I'm living for it living for it and now I have no more nails I swear to god they're like all breaking okay um so I've got to bring this I hate this this guy back out and I'm gonna draw a line because I want to use one of these shadows for my liner I know people are always like, don't do it. Don't use a shadow as your liner. But like sometimes it just works for the color that you need and you have to go with it. Okay, and I'm liking how that shape turned out. Let's hope this one comes out semi-decent. Um, not as easy on the left eye. Okay, let's all pray. Okay, I'm gonna take this tiny little MAC liner brush and we're gonna go into Snowware. And I'm really just trying to like pack it into the line. Normally I like try to pull it through more, but as I mentioned before, this one's, it's so blendable that it just kind of fades the color and I don't want to fade the color. I want this to be popping. Especially on the end here, if I don't, like, make it dark and distinct, it'll just blend in with the rest. Okay. So, like, there we've got something.
Okay. <sighs> now for left eye. Now for the left eye. I shouldn't say left eye. Sad what happened to her. Okay. Um... many people in this world gone too soon. Okay. We're getting there. Okay. Killed it. I am still going to like clean this up though. Underneath. Um I just had my concealer. Okay. Instant age rewind. Which is ironic because I used to use this in like like high school or something you know like when I really didn't need it and now I'm now I'm 25 and I'm like uh feel like I need it guys and I know that's not actually old but like from here on out it all goes downhill so Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, maybe if you guys do this, put like tape underneath or something. Because this side got a little wonky. But, it is not the end of the world, my friends. Okay. All right, now I'm just gonna like, first of all, mascara, got my Urban Decay Perversion. I can do this in the monitor, can I? Oh, Jesus. Um. Literally just blinking in and really moving my head, not even my arm really much. Because, you know. <sighs> and again, here I'm twisting my right hand because this is just trash. I'm over it. Over it! Okay, um. Now. Jesus. Okay, so this is my e.l.f. like flawless satin foundation. And I'm just gonna blend out. Especially right now, I feel like Because, as I believe I told you in one of my last videos, I was breaking the hell out. So, gotta, gotta even that skin tone. Like, it is necessary. Also, like, hi. Wow. Full face. Who am I? <laughs> 
We'll face in quarantine, no less. <sighs> but we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Um, I want to put my little plastic sleeve back on this guy because I think it's done. Yeah, that eye look is like 1,000% done. Okay, um... It'd be nice for once in my life to not have ridiculous dark circles, but here we are. Okay. Okay. Gonna go in with my little Shiseido foundation brush into whatever that middle darkest color is. And we're just doing a curve upward because i don't know when you do a straight line it just like doesn't look natural it looks weird and i'm only putting this like on the bottom of my nose Just to thin out that part. Yep. I'm like meek. We're going all out today, kids. <laughs> It'll all come off with the mask anyway, but whatever. I'm also about to put a lip color on. Like, how is that a good idea? Um... Whatever. Okay, and we're just gonna blend this out. I don't do the whole thing where I put like 50 pounds of concealer on all over my face either. Like, Unless, like, there's a spot where I need it, which, like, maybe, but. And I tend to, like, push it, if I have any up here, I tend to, like, push it kind of up into my hairline a little bit more. <sighs> and lastly... Okay, I feel like that didn't even really help my nose that much. Maybe I do need concealer. Hold on a sec. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna try something. All right, it'll do. Okay. So I think that's enough contour. We're gonna go in once again with my Wet n Wild 
Hello Halo blush lighter combo in Highlight Bling. Gonna go in with this fluffy guy. Actually, you know what? First, first we're gonna go in with my blush brush and do the little blush guy. But as... Oh, you know what? I can use my little, like, powder contour, because I don't... No, I'm, I'm gonna use my blush brush. Okay, um... And I'm just taking, like, the side end of it, because I don't want to do, like... I don't want to do, like, big round blush. I'm gonna do, like, kind of where my contour is. And the reason I'm doing that is because, like... I have cheeks, like, I don't need, I do not need more cheeks. I don't need to draw attention to this garbage. Not that it's garbage. Okay, so, like, if you have cheeks, you're not garbage. But, like, at the same time, I don't want to look like a chipmunk. <laughs> And that's just my personal opinion about myself. I notice when I'm doing this. Because I don't want to get shit for, like, using my wrist. I'm literally just moving my elbow, like. And that's how I'm doing that. And I think it's a nice way to, like, give color to the cheeks without, like, giving color to the cheeks. Uh, so now we're going in with that fluffy white brush. And we're going to go into the highlight shade and just kind of... Not that I don't have enough sparkle with that blush, because that was a shimmery blush. Like, Hello Kitty, more like Hello Glitter. Like, NASA Imaging is going to be able to see this highlight. I don't know. I have mixed feelings about glitter on the face. Because I'm like, ooh, shine, sparkle, I love it. And then I'm like, oh, also, it kind of gives you texture to the skin. And I'm like, not living for that moment. Gonna do a little light dusting on my nose, down the center. Of course, a light dusting with this one is like, uh, but like, whatever, it's done. Um, a little bit on my top lip. Oh my god, okay. Oh, uh, but now I feel like I have like... Okay, toned it down a bit. Like, I want, like, in here, I should have used the other corner. Like, in here, just to make sure it didn't look like I had, like, a sweaty upper lip, because that would have been really gross. Like, really gross. Um, so I'm done with highlighter, and now just for the lip, and then we're, we're good. Um... How does one choose? Like, these three I'll keep the box for. Um, so, I could go for this white one. But I honestly think maybe this cool toned pink, like this one's a little warmer, this cooler toned pink might go nicely, I think. And it is called So Chilly. And I love the little packaging. It's got like all these snowflakes and holly. And it's just really like cutesy. It's very all about what Hello Kitty is about. It's pink and it's sparkly and it's glorious. Does it smell like anything? 
just like vanilla, but it's really nice. You know, like it's like sweet. Yeah, so it's very light. Ooh, but this is a stickier gloss, which I don't particularly love. In fact, I don't... I think I did mention it in a video before, where, like, back in the day, I used to love glosses. I think that's because also when I was, like, younger, that was all I was allowed to use. Um... But let me tell you, it was something that I realized was very, like, gloppy and gluey and sticky. And it, it... I stopped using gloss for a long time. Like, when I was able to start wearing other makeup, like eyeshadow and eyeliner and lipstick, like, I... I love lipstick. I love, re like, specifically red lipstick. I feel like it just makes you feel so powerful and just, like, badass. And I really, really love it. Lip gloss, I stayed away from for the reason that it was gloppy and gluey and sticky. And I liked a lot of ColourPop's, um, glosses and even like the jeffree star the gloss that i got from the uh conspiracy like collection with shane i loved it because it wasn't like that and now this one uh like you see that you can literally see like it it's like a cheese pull it's like a cheese pull like Right there. You can actually see it like unsticking. So I think the color is beautiful. I might need to like apply a lip oil either before or after or something. Or maybe I would do like a lip balm underneath and then like a lip oil on top just to keep it from from sticking because i i do not like that so wow um honestly surprised because like i said i liked their other glosses i have glosses from them that i love because they're not like that and this was ugh. like i think i'm taking this off pretty soon, like immediately after this. I don't think it's something I'd want to keep on. Um, let me know what you guys think about both this look and about the product if you've tried it or are trying it. I mean, I think the eye palette is beautiful. I think it blends very well. I think the, col like, the color story is great and it's very Hello Kitty and it's very girly and sparkly, which like, I like the sparkly. I feel like I don't do pink eyes or, like, anything like that very often. I guess this has a little bit of more of a purple tint, but, like, I don't do that very often. Um, yeah, that highlight, wow. Um, yeah, I just, I can't. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See ya.